So I created this landing page and modified it to have a bug with the input validation. Created a pull request, asked it to review it, and boom, it catched the bug. Alright, what you just saw is Cursor Bugbot. Bugbot is an AI-driven code reviewer integrated into the Cursor IDE. It can check your pull request in GitHub and add additional review before you merge your code. It is an alternative to the popular code rabbit. Cursor Bugbot has limitations that you should be aware of. First, it can check your code only after you create a pull request, which means you are not getting real-time feedback. While Intelligence AI, which is another alternative, acts in real-time in the IDE. The second limitation is that Bugbot can be executed in GitHub only. It is created as a GitHub app. In addition, be aware that its main focus is to check diffs, wider bugs may not be detected. After we know what Cursor Bugbot is, let's install it. In order to install it, we'll go to the Cursor website. Under Bugbot tab, click on Manage Connections. It will open a GitHub dialog. Here you can configure which repositories you want to give Bugbot access to. After that, we will need to set a budget for it. When you install it for the first time, you have 7 days free trial. You can run it automatically for every pull request. I don't recommend it because it can be a waste of money and usually we are not creating a pull request and immediately asking for review. I chance we will commit more changes before asking for review. That's why we should ask Bugbot to check our PR when we want. We'll see how to do it in a second. You can also define which pull request it should check with the deny list or allow list of the pull request author. Great, now we are ready to use it, let's see how to trigger Bugbot. I created a pull request, wrote Bugbot run, it added a nice emoji, and comment if it finds something. You can click on this button to open it directly on Cursor. That's nice. What about the pricing? Cursor Bugbot is available in Pro and Ultra plans, the pricing depends on your usage. Of course, setting it to run automatically on every pull request will cost more. There is a monthly spending limit specifically for Bugsbot usage. Guys, if you are still here, it would mean the world to me if you liked the video and subscribed, it really helps our community grow. After using it for two weeks, I genuinely believe that AI-driven code reviews, not just Bugbot, are becoming an essential step in the process of delivering and deploying code. I recommend making it part of your software development workflow. As it improves, it will boost your velocity and help catch more bugs. If you are using Cursor, it's a nice solution, make sure not to trigger it automatically and only when and where you need this review. It's important to keep in mind that this review is not a replacement for another person review, not to mention the false sense of security caution. As always, you need to know the code you are merging. Bugbot is one piece of a bigger system in Cursor called Background Agents and to really get the full picture, you need to watch this video.